Hey guys, welcome back to this week's Day Fit Sunday. I'm going to show you my take on the Hungarian Lecho, which is the tomato, pepper, and onion stew that I've been talking about. And it's super simple, but this is super clean. So let me show you what you're going to need. About five medium-sized bell peppers, uh, five tomatoes, two sweet onions, a cup and a quarter of water, some extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, some stevia, and some black pepper. Now to save some time, I cut all the bell peppers up, I cut up the onions and the tomatoes, so let's get started. In a large pot, I'm going to turn the heat up to medium high, and I'm going to use about three tablespoons of olive oil, and I'm just going to let that heat up, and I'm going to add in my onions, and this is such a simple recipe, you guys. I'm telling you, it is just easy peasy. Uh, what you're going to do is just let your onions saute for about four to five minutes make sure you stir frequently so they don't burn you just want them to get translucent so now that I've been cooking them for about five minutes this is what it will look like and then I'm gonna add in my bell peppers now you can go ahead and use any kind of sweet bell pepper I love to just get the assorted you know <laughs> mixed colors but I wouldn't recommend using green those aren't my favorite for this dish. So just give them a good stir. And now I'm going to add in a little bit of sea salt, just like a pinch to help bring out, you know, the water out of the bell peppers and the onions. And you want to just add a little salt anyways, even though this is a sweet dish. Uh, well, not super sweet, but sweeter than normal I should say for like a veggie stew so give it a good stir and now I'm going to uh, saute this for about like eight minutes you just want to make sure that you took the raw edge off the bell peppers and they just look nice and soft so now I'm going to add in my tomatoes and I'm going to add in some fresh cracked black pepper I wanted to say <laughs> bell pepper so I'm gonna add in about maybe like a half a teaspoon of that and this is all you need like spice wise it's got a lot of flavor and that's why I like this dish because it's super light and it has good flavor and you just don't need a lot of ingredients and it's really like affordable and cheap to make so it's just awesome so just give it a good stir I will cook this for about uh, two minutes and then I will add in my water I you can go ahead and add in the water right away I mean after you add in your tomatoes but I like to wait you know a minute or two so just give it a good stir and you're gonna let it come to a boil so leave it on medium high I don't ever change the heat setting just so you guys know but I will cook this for about uh, 10 minutes so it'll come to a boil and then what you could do at this point like my mom she likes to add in a handful of white rice you can also cut up some sausage saute it in a pan and then throw it in so it's kind of like a sweet jambalaya dish but I'm just going to show you guys how I make it so I will cook it for another 10 minutes so most of the water will kind of like evaporate and then there's a little bit of juice but not too much so now I'm going to add in my stevia I will add in about three to four packets so pretty much like I do like three dropper fulls and th that's what I really love about this dish is like the stevia really brings out the sweetness of the tomato depending on how ripe the tomatoes are sometimes if they're really like in season and yummy you don't need as much stevia but right now they're they're not as sweet so I gotta add in just a little bit more and make sure you have the heat turned off so um just in case you didn't see me turn it off but this is such a good vegetarian dish um honestly I will pair this with a little a bit of like protein yogurt to get my protein in but what I really love about this is like I will have seconds sometimes I'll have like three scoops full and this whole entire batch is like maybe 400 calories I mean that is so low so each serving is like a hundred and um, or maybe a little bit over a hundred but what I will do, I will put the rest away. This will serve about three servings, sometimes four. But I just wanted to share it with you guys because it's so simple, so yummy, and really low in calories. And I hope you guys try it. So thanks for watching.